give you a little bit behind the scenes look here on a trip I'm doing today. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you all the fun stuff I have later, but just to give you an idea, 18 degrees, trying to get the truck defrosted here so we can get going. Yeah, I got on the road and had to flip a Yui because I forgot all my targets. Nice. I have made it um, this is an area I've been coming to since I was 16 years old so 20 plus years um, I haven't been to this exact spot because generally I've had my car so it's kind of nice to get somewhere new but this is what I'm doing today um, that is the uh, lubrication that I've been using on my AR and it is now eight degrees so I'm going to try and replicate as close as I can um, the cold and the AR failure with all that kind of stuff. So that's one thing I'll be doing. That'll be a separate video. This is just behind the scenes again. But what I've got is I've got my bow. I've got my AR buried down there. And then uh, I've also got my Smith & Wesson m and I actually have a, a Springer Preci Precision. Um, extended mag release that I'm going to be testing out today as well so um, and I'm probably gonna be running around in those mountains with the truck I want to explore a little bit more because I can my oldest son is on a scout camp my second oldest is again guys this is just behind the scenes stuff this is what I gotta do to get ready my second oldest is sleeping over his buddy's house or did sleep over last night my wife, my baby girl, and my twins are going out on some baby showers today. So that is not for me. This is what I'd much rather be doing. So I've got the I've got the man-sized target, still target out there at 313 yards. I don't even know if I can see it. <laughs> I might have to move it back in. But uh, anyway, we'll commence with some of this AR testing here. And uh, see what happens. We will see what happens. An interesting development on this video already and I haven't even started it. Man, I just love this area out here, you guys love it so this is a lot of what i do to set up these shots i honestly a lot of times i'm not just setting the camera somewhere but i'm trying to think of the background and and uh, add to to the video as much as i can that's probably what i'll go with right there we'll get set up and we'll do the intro for that vid Hey guys, just out here shooting today, going to... Now, we gotta do something else there. Hey guys, wanted to do a follow-up vid on my AR failure, and today is as good as day as any to, help, to replicate. The AR vid is done. Now I'm shooting, uh, what I'm gonna do is this Springer Precision Extended Mag Release on my Smith & Wesson M&P pistol. And I've got these set up for about, I don't know, between eight and 10 yards or so. But the funny thing is, is I've been shooting my bow so much lately and going out to 40 yards, 30 yards, shooting the AR out to 380 plus, that this seems incredibly close to me because I haven't shot my pistols for a while. So that's the next video I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna do my bow vid, I think. Maybe I'll do a bow video out here, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but I wanna head back up into those mountains later today as well. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. I forgot how early a start I got. 
I like extended mag releases. So I purchased an AR. No, I didn't purchase an AR. What did I? Because I just got done shooting my AR, and that's why I'm thinking AR. I like extended mag releases, so I purchased a Springer Precision AR. Gosh, AR again. I like extended mag releases, so I purchased a Springer Precision for the M&P. I don't have it on yet. I have to install it. But uh, I want to install it out here, shoot it, make sure it's working all right, and see how I like it. And I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Hey guys, I purchased the Springer Precision Extended Mag Release for the Smith & Wesson M&P. All right, I got the, uh, the uh, I had a hard time saying it, the Springer Precision Extended Mag Release, that one filmed. So that one is done. Uh, this has been a good trip so far. Two good videos, I'll get a nice behind the scenes. I kind of like behind the scenes videos when people do them. I like to do them. It's just kind of fun to see what goes on and, and see a different flavor. So that's nice. And now what I need to do is get this thing back up and running with uh, my self-defense rounds back in there instead of the target. Some guy told me that I needed to not practice with target ammo, but with my self-defense ammo. This is a long time ago, but I said, dude, really, if you can afford that, rock on. I can't. I can't at all. You need to run some of your self-defense ammo through it just to make sure it works. But to come out here and shoot as much as I do, granted it hasn't been a lot the last little bit, but generally speaking, as much as I do, there's no way I could afford it. Shooting twice a year. Internet comments. Oh man, that's a video in and of itself, man. I, I will say though, I've got a really good group of uh, subscribers. Uh, I've been impressed with, with my subscriber base. We're done with the shooting videos. Now we're gonna get back on the road, head up in those mountains, and then uh, I'll break out the bow a little bit later. Just ranged them and they're about 150 yards, 160 yards out. All right, I'm back to the uh, spot where I was shooting earlier. Now it's uh, bow time. Man, this is a terrible day. Out shooting an AR, out shooting my pistol, driving around, seeing some deer. Now I gotta shoot a bow. Boy, I tell you, it's rough. Rough. So, you know, what I don't know is if I'm gonna make this a, I thought I saw something. What I don't know is if I'm gonna make this a standalone vid or maybe just part of this one. Maybe a standalone. There seems to be a little bit more interest in the bow than I thought. Uh, not huge interest, but uh, it's encouraging when there's, you know, even just a handful of guys that say, man, I love it. That is encouraging because uh, I love shooting the bow and I'm not spending any money right now, which is nice. All right, so maybe we'll do the lead in here. I'm lazy, I'm not gonna change the camera. 
Next piece I got for my bow that I'm going to replace is my sight. This is made by Apex. Well, according to the truck, it's warmed up to a balmy 23 degrees Fahrenheit. It's actually really nice outside. The sun's out. This turned out to be a really good day. But, um, so this concludes the behind the scenes look. I'm just heading out, man. That was a fun day. That was a really fun day. So as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Still having fun. See ya.